Hey team, super excited to be training here with you guys today. Let's make sure that we have our uniform on um, and we have our belt, we have our gloves, we have everything that we need to train today. You also need your square hand target. If you do not have a square hand target, you can grab a pillow. And if you're black belt leadership, you're gonna grab your sword. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to go get that stuff. Awesome, so your homework for this class there team is you're gonna send your online instructor your self-defense and the part of the kata that you know so far. Senior black belts, you're just gonna send uh, part of the 100 count that you know uh, and you're gonna be learning with Sensei Michael soon. All right, so we're gonna bow in there team and get started. Everyone, now stand. And attention. Nice, spread your feet out, put your fist out, cover your fist, get a nice low horse stand, take a couple deep breaths here. Student creed number one, begin. To build true confidence, I must have knowledge in my mind, honesty in my heart, and strength in my body. Winners never quit, quitters never win. I choose to be a black belt. So, we have a really awesome warm up, practicing some stances. Excuse me, and this is gonna be really beneficial for a lot of us learning our katas that we have some really strong stances. So, we're gonna work on a forward stance first. Everyone take your right leg, you're gonna step up on an angle, your back leg is gonna stay straight, your front leg is gonna be bent, your hips are squared towards the front, and your arms are chambered. And you're gonna hold this position for 10 seconds. Ready, and begin. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Shake those legs out. We're now going to go to the other side. So your, your left leg is going to step up. Your right leg is straight. Knee is locked out. Front leg is bent. Arms are chambered and hips are squared. Ten seconds. Ready and go. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Time. Shake those legs out. We're now going to go to a horse stance. So your legs are spread apart, your knees are going out to the side, and you're going to bend those knees and keep your back straight. So, feet are spread apart, bend those knees, knees go out to the side, arms are chambered, back is straight, 10 seconds, ready, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake those legs out. We're going to do one more round of that horse stance and then we're gonna take it up a notch. So, spread those feet apart, bend those knees, arms are chambered, ready, 10 seconds, and go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, go a little bit lower, five, four, three, two, one, time, shake those legs out. Awesome, all right, so now we're gonna go back to that forward stance there, team, but for those who remember our self-defense for last week was windmill guard, we did parry, chop, grab. We're gonna do that in our stance, right? So, we're gonna take our right leg, we're gonna step up on an angle. Left leg in the back is straight, right leg is bent, arms are chambered. Ready, you're gonna step up, you're gonna do that parry. Parry, and you're gonna get your head out of the way. Chop, grab, and then reset. And go, parry, chop, grab, reset. Keep holding that stance. And go, parry, chop, grab, reset. One more time, go, parry, chop, grab, reset. Nice, shake those legs out. Now we're gonna do it on the other side and we're gonna parry with our left hand this time. So, left leg's gonna step up, you're gonna bend that knee, back leg is straight, arms are chambered. Ready, parry, chop, grab, reset. Go, parry. Chop, grab, reset. Go, parry, chop, grab, reset. One more time, go, parry, chop, grab, reset. And shake those legs out. Now we're gonna go into that horse stance and we're gonna start with our right side and then we're gonna go to our left side and we're gonna hold the stance the entire time. All right, so spread your feet apart, bend those knees, 
Arms are chamber. Back is straight. Ready? Parry. Chop. Grab. Reset. Let's go to the other side now. Ready? Parry. Chop. Grab. Reset. A little bit lower. Parry. Chop. Grab. Reset. Go. Parry. Chop. Grab. Reset. One more time on each side. Parry. Chop. Grab. Reset. A little bit lower. Parry. Chop. Grab. Reset. And shake those legs out. All right, team, that was a great warm up. Up next, we're going to start our curriculum with Sensei Michael. Thank you, sir. So, team, before we work on our new self defense this week, let's finish working on that self defense Mr. M just helped us with. So, that was last week's technique windmill guard. Remember, the attack was a right straight punch. So, one time together, hands are up. Step up with your left leg and your left hand. Ready? Parry. Other hand, chop. Same hand grab. So this is what we just worked on in that horse stance. And now back leg, we turn our body. Roundhouse kick, cross in front, and cover out. So let's do it again. Hands up, step up, ready. Parry, chuck, grab, asa, and stop back up. One more time. Step up, soup, 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 asa, cover out, stop back up. So, new self, so that was last week. New self-defense for this week is called Four Swords. Senior black belt, you should know this really well because it's the beginning of 100 count that we worked on last week with you, right? But it's still really good practice. So, Four Swords, this is the most common attack, which is a right hook. Someone's right hand swinging right towards your face. Really interesting. They've actually done archaeological studies of like battle scenes, like you know, where wars have been, and the most common injury is a strike to the left side of the skull, right? Because the person had the right hand and that's where we come in towards like your left side. So this is like, if you're gonna learn any martial arts, like learning how to defend against this would be really good, right? This is something that you, know, you could really use. So your hands are up. So the attacker's coming in with the right hand, big swinging punch. We're gonna take our right leg and our right hand. We're gonna step in inward block right there. Let's reset, do it again. So right leg, right hand, step in inward block. Same hand, you're gonna chop right to the neck. Ready, reset. So it's called four swords. The attack is a right hook, a big swinging punch at your face. So right leg, right hand, step in. Inward block, same hand, chop. Now we're gonna take our back hand, we're gonna turn our belly, palm right to the face. Make sure when you palm, fingers are together, thumb is tucked in, right? You don't wanna be spread out like this, all together. Let's reset, ready, hands up. Step up, right leg, right hand. Inward block one, chop two, other hand, palm to the face three. So my body is twisted. From here, I'm gonna unwind to generate that power. My right hand, uppercut, right to the belly, and then cover out. It's called four swords, because there's four strikes, right? Let's do it again. Step in, inward block one, chop two, palm three, uppercut four, and cover out. One more time, slow. Ready, inward block, one, two, three, four, and then cover out. So I'm gonna do it one more time, just facing the same direction as you, so stay where you are. My hands are up, that right hand comes in, my right leg steps up, inward block, chop to the neck, palm to the face, uppercut the stomach, and cover out. So, on your own, I'm gonna keep walking through it, but if you've got it, just practice by yourself for the next 30 seconds. If you still need some help though, I'm gonna keep talking through it. Ready here? Block, chop, palm, uppercut, and then cover out. Soup, 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 access, stop back up. Soup, 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 access, stop back up. While you're practicing team, if you have it, Start working it on the left side. So imagine the attacker's coming in with a left hook and you step up the other way in, chop, palm, uppercut, and cover around. You're still working on the side you just did, side A, totally fine too. One more time, go on the other side, in, chop, palm, uppercut, and stop back up. So remember your homework for this week, you're gonna send a video of four swords, the self-defense we just learned, for that right punch to your instructor. You're also gonna send a short video of whatever kata you're working on. So we're gonna start with striking set. Striking set, if you're a white through green belt, this is the form you're working on for the next few months. So we start, now to stance. And attention. 
check. Make sure your feet are together. Your back is straight. Good posture. Right hand. Ready? Action kata. Striking set. Bow. Take your right leg, put it behind you. Hands up. Aya. Back hand. It should be your right hand. You're going to strike to the nose or the temple. We're going to set a hammer fist. Other hand. Hammer fist. Back hand. Palm. Other hand. Palm. So this is where we stopped last week. From here, my back arm, I'm going to turn my body and I'm going to elbow. Ready? Elbow. Make sure this hand is up and your elbow is sideways. The mistake people make, they kind of like turn it up and down like this. You want your knuckles, your fingers, to point down to the ground. So it's perfect sideways. And then we're going to unwind. Elbow with the other hand. So same thing. Check. It's not up and down this way, but my palm of my hands, my knuckles, are pointing down to the ground for that elbow. Let's just do that again. Hands up. We'll start with our hammer fist. Ready? Hammer fist. Hammer fist. Palm. Palm. We twist. Keep it sideways. Elbow. Make sure your palm is facing down. And then turn. Elbow. From here, I'm going to bend my knees a little bit. I'm going to use both hands. And I'm going to push. A push is one of those strikes that you might not think of it as like a karate move. Really good technique, right? Especially if you can use your legs and your body to generate some power. That's why we're going to bend first and then push. So let's do it from the top. Master stance and attention. Action kata, striking set, bow, right leg back, hands up, Aya. right hand, ready, hammer fist. Make sure you turn your body, unwind, hammer fist. I twist again, palm, I turn. Palm. Okay, new part for this week. Remember, I'm going to use my legs, use my hips, use my core. Turn. Elbow. Then I turn again. Elbow. I'm going to bend my knees to generate that power and push. Okay, one more time, then you're on your own. Ready? Attention. Check. Toes touch. Shoulders back. Eyes up. Action kata. Striking set. Bow. Step back. Back hand. Hammer fist. Hammer fist, palm, palm, elbow, elbow, bend those knees, and push. Okay, so if you are a white through green belt, start working on striking set. Advanced belts, black belts, grab your sword. Make sure before you pick it up, we stop, we bow, and then we pick it up. Okay, so sword kata, we're working on four corners. It's called four corners because we're going to go to all four directions. You're going to imagine there's an attacker at each of the four corners, right? So I'm going to do it with my back to you like we are following along together. Before you start, you want to remember the numbers on a clock, right? So we've talked about this before. Imagine you're standing in the center. The number 12 is in front of you. That means the number three would be over here. The number six would be behind me, and the number nine would be to the other side. So before we get started, figure out where your four directions are, because we're going to use all four directions today. So, sword is on my hip. I bow. Remember, we're going to take three steps. My right leg steps first. My hands stay still. My left leg steps, I grab my sword. My right leg steps, I slice straight through. From here, right leg stays in front. You're just going to shuffle up and strike straight down. When you strike, just a couple reminders, when you're holding both hands on the sword, you want your hands apart, right? The tendency is to make them touch. We're gonna keep a little bit of space there. So, then just do that again, and then we'll add the new strikes. So over here, we bow, four corners. Right leg steps first, nothing happens. Left leg steps, I grab my sword. Right leg steps, imagine you're pulling it out of the case. You slice, slide up, strike down. Okay, so now my next direction. My left leg is going to step to where the number nine would be. It should be to your left. You're going to step up, sword comes over top, strike straight down. Now, I did it to number nine, I'm going to do it to number three. My right leg just has to adjust a little bit so I'm not twisted. I turn towards the number three and strike down, right? So watch, guys, I'm not stepping. All I'm doing is turning my body. This leg just has to get out of the way, right? If I don't move that leg, you can see my legs are all twisted. That's not going to be very good. Boom. We're here. Okay. Let's reset back to the beginning, and then we'll do one more part today. Ready? Bow. Four corners. Right leg. Left leg I grab. I strike with my right. Slide up. Boom. Towards number 12. That's where we were last week. Left leg steps to the number nine. Strike over top. 
Now my right leg has to get out of the way. I turn to the three and strike down. Okay, so we've done three corners. We gotta get to number four. This is where it gets a little tricky. Your left leg, you're going backwards. You're gonna step around to the number six, sort of like the beginning. You're gonna cut straight across the middle and then watch my back leg, my right leg steps up and I strike straight down, right? So I went around and I kept going, boom, straight down. Okay, that got me to all four. I did 12, I did nine, I did three, and I finished at the back, I finished at six. Let's do it one more time, we don't have time to practice. Ready, bow. Right leg steps, left leg steps, right leg slice, slide up, right, left leg steps to number nine. We strike, right leg gets out of the way, over top to number three. Okay, this part, pay attention. I'm going backwards, right? My left leg steps all the way around to the six. I come through, and then I keep going as I step up with my right, and strike straight down. That's gonna take a little bit of practice. So work on that team. If you are a white through green belt and you're good with striking set, start practicing four swords and windmill guards so you know two self-defense now for this cycle. My senior black belts, we're adding to 100 counts, right? So, the first time I do it, guys, we'll do it face, uh, I'll do it facing you. So we're here, we start, we're gonna go really fast through last weeks. I step up, ready, inward block, chop, palm, uppercut, that was one, two, three, four, hammer fist five, chop six. Remember, someone's grabbing you, you're knocking their arms out of the way as you palm to the face. Seven, and I chop again, eight, right? Here's what we did last week. New part for this week. Arm that's out, it's your right arm. You're gonna elbow to the head, ready? Nine, you're gonna get low. Have this 10, come back up high, back knuckle 11. Let's just do that again. So, we finished at number eight. We elbow nine, have this 10, back knuckle 11, other hand comes over top. You're gonna imagine you're palming down on the chin. So my left hand palms on top, 12, and then you're gonna drop into a horse stance. You're punching right to the bladder or right to the belly, straight down, 13. Yep, so let's do that again. Go back to number eight. We're gonna go elbow the head, nine. Hammer fist the groin, 10. Back knuckle the nose, 11. Palm on top of the chin, 12. And then we're going to punch straight down, 13. Okay, from the top, and then we're doing three more moves. Ready, here. Step in with your right. One, two, three, four, hammer fist, five, six, clear the arms and palm, seven, chop, eight, okay, good, elbow the head, nine, 10 is your hammer fist, 11 is your back knuckle, palm over top, 12, and then punch straight down, 13. From here, you're gonna take both hands, you're gonna strike into the ears, 14, you're gonna take your thumbs, stick them in the eyes. 15, and then you're gonna grab their head and you're gonna pull it and headbutt. 16, so it's ears, eyes, and then headbutt is number 16. Okay, from the top, ready, step up with your right. One, two, three, four, hammer fist five, six, we clear and we strike. Seven, eight, okay, new section, elbow nine. Hammer fist 10, back knuckle 11, back hand now, your left hand, palm over top 12, punch into the belly, boom, 13, sink, knees bent. Okay, from here, I hit right into the ears, 14, thumbs into the eyeballs, 15, then you're holding onto their head, boom, you pull it in, 16. Okay, last time, I'm gonna do it with you facing the same way. Ready, big right hook comes in, I step in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, new section. Elbow nine, hammer fist 10, back knuckle 11, palm 12, and then sink into that four stance, down 13. From here, we strike ears, eyes, and then pull in, and headbutt is your number 16. Okay, so 
Senior black belts, you want to make sure you're practicing that. Get it down on the right side, but if you're looking for an extra challenge, eventually you're gonna to have to be do it on you're gonna to have to do it on the other side anyway. So the sooner you start practicing that, the easier it's gonna be for you. Okay, advanced belts. You can put down your sword and everyone take a knee. So before we start working out, lesson of the week this week is one of my favorite stories. It's about the bonsai tree and one of the largest sequoia trees named the General Sherman. So a bonsai tree, if you don't know, super tiny, super ornate, super beautiful though, right? On the other hand, the giant sequoia trees in California, one of the biggest is called the General Sherman. The General Sherman, it's 275 feet straight up in the air. It's massive, right? If you think about how big that tree is to how tiny a bonsai tree is, you know, the difference, it, it's shocking. What's interesting, what's important to remember is both of those trees started out the exact same way, right? They both started as a seed. The difference is the bonsai tree, as soon as it started to sprout from the ground, someone rips it out, cuts the roots, binds them together, and then sticks it back in and purposely stunts its growth. On the other hand, the General Sherman, these giant sequoia trees, they have this rich nutrient-filled soil. They have the perfect weather conditions, the perfect amount of sunlight. And the reality of it is, the bonsai seed and the General Sherman seed, they had no choice in what happened to them, right? It was out of their control. For us though, we have a choice every day. We get to choose our destiny, right? We get to choose what kind of soil and how we feed ourselves. And I think that's so important to remember. Whatever goals you have, you have a decision to make how hard you work, right? For about the next, you know, 15, 20 minutes, you're gonna be working out, you have a decision to make how hard you're gonna work out, right? And you can decide that, you know what, no one's watching me, I'm gonna kind of go through the motions, or you can decide you're gonna make sure after 20 minutes you're huffing and puffing and sweating, right? That decision is always yours. You know, if you have a goal at school, you're gonna finish out the year strong, you have a choice to make how hard you study, how often you study, when you turn in your homework, how focused you are during assignments, all of those decisions are yours to make. So it's so powerful, we need to remember that all of this, there's a lot we can control, and our actions, our decisions, are always something we can control. Okay, Mr. M and Mr. C, they have an amazing workout for you. Gentlemen, they're all yours. All right, team, super exciting stuff. We're gonna be doing a workout called 21 9 which means you're gonna do everything 21 times, then 15 times, and then nine times, right? Your goal is obviously to keep up with Mr. C, but if you're going at your own pace, like take care of your body, go at your own pace, but for those who know that they should be challenging themselves, push yourself. So we're gonna start with toe taps there, team. So I'm gonna get the bag over here for Mr. C. Mr. C, can you show us all what toe taps look like, sir? Yes, sir. So this is round one there, team, right? He's pumping his arms, he's bouncing quickly, right? Round, or sorry, level two, right? So that was level one. Level two is you can go around in a circle as you're doing this. Awesome. All right, so that's the first round. Second round is gonna be a combination. So Mr. C, get in the guard's hands. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And Mr. C, real quick, let's grab our gloves. So team, if you don't have your gloves, go grab your gloves real quick. So the cell, uh, sorry, the combination's gonna be cover, cover, jab, cross. All right, we're gonna watch Mr. C do this. Make sure you follow along just how he does it. When he does that cover, he's gonna turn his whole body, he's gonna keep his elbow against his head. All right? Oh yeah, cover. Cover, suit us. Nice team, really making sure those elbows don't flare out and they stay nice and close to your head. Do it again, sir. Cover, cover, suit us. Fantastic. The next and final thing for this round is gonna be leg lifts, right? You're gonna make a diamond out of your hand and put it at the lower part of your back. You're gonna lay on the ground. If you wanna challenge, you can take it out and not use it, but that's all up to you. You're also, there's a couple levels to this. Number one, the first level is obviously you're just gonna put your hands to the lower part of your back and then lift up your legs and bring them back down without rocking up, keeping your back straight. Level two is you're gonna put that target between your legs, hold it to so that pillow, and you're gonna bring it up and back down. Level three is you're going to, actually no, level two, that's it. We're gonna do that later. So level one or level two, you decide their team what you want to do. So let's start with those toe taps. You're going to do 21 there, team, and then we're going to move to the cover, cover, jump, cross, then leg lifts. All right, Mr. C, whenever you're ready, sir, you may begin. One, two, three, four, five, six, nice speed, sir. Like, Mr. C, there's, 
rolling with those elbows. Suerza! Suerza! Full extension of those punches. Keep Suerza. it up there. Suerza! Suerza! Switch sides anytime Suerza. you want. Mistake is my words. He's gonna come all the way up like a V and 
didn't touch the pillow, and then he's gonna go back down. That is really hard for a team, right? Level three to that is grabbing the pillow and trying to switch it to your hands and then switch it back to your feet, right? Even harder for that round. Level one, though, so we did level two and level three. Level one is just gonna be legs are spread apart in a V position, and you're reaching between your legs with that target. So if Mr. C is going to open his legs up, he's just going to keep him out nice and wide like a straddle, and he's gonna reach between his legs with the target. So that's level one. Level two is that target to feet, bringing yourself up to a V, and then reaching, grabbing the target. So decide what level you wanna do. The next is gonna be push-up chops. So if you're still working on your push-ups, obviously do your push-ups. Even if you, if you really want to do push-ups, my suggestion to you is do a couple, at least a few without your knees, and keep your hips forward. But realistically, do three, and then chop down and shake it out, and go back to it, right? And push yourself. So, show us what a push-up chop looks like, sir. Back straight and everything. And then turn awesome. and chop into the ceiling. If you really want to challenge, you're gonna do that push-up, chop, roll over to a crab position, and then roll back over to that push-up position. Go ahead, sir. Nice, not letting your knees or anything drop, and then he'll go back the other direction. That's if you really want to challenge, all right? Well, like I said, we're gonna do 21, 15 out of everything. Let's start with those front kicks, whatever version you want to do to that. 21 front kicks, sir, ready? Go. Us, two. Three, Rapid four, fire kicks. five, nice work, sir. six, seven, Ooh, stepping it up, nice eight, nine, ten, and that kick out level, good work, sir. Eleven, twelve, strong, you got thirteen, fourteen, keep those hands up just like this. Fifteen, thirteen, rocking it out. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. Nice. On to those V ups there, team. 21, whatever version you want to do. One. Nice. Two. Three. Those abs should be on fire right now, there, team. You guys are doing so good. Keep it up, keep it up. Six. Seven. If you drop it, just put it back up and then keep pushing yourself. Ten. Halfway there, you can do it. Twelve. Shake it out if you need to, and then right back to it. Thirteen. Oh, stepping it up now. Love it. Fifty. You see his rocket over here, their team. Seven. Push yourself to be just as strong as he is. Nine. Twenty. Twenty. Nice work. And then last but not least, our push-up chops, their team. One. Ooh, and going right to the challenge. Two. One. Love it. Okay, Mr. C is gonna be ready for Memorial Day. Four. Each push up uh, getting that much closer to black belt or that much closer to your next degree. Six. Seven. For those who are going to their black belt challenge soon, this is going to make you super strong and ready for that. If you're brand new in this class, if you're just getting that much closer to junior black belt, this is really going to make you stronger for um, your future workouts in this class. Ooh, halfway there, that's awesome. Team, keep up with Mr. Shit, you got it. If you have to take a break, shake it out, get right back to it. 13. 14. You got it, sir, good work, keep it up, you can do it. You're rocking a great distance, shake it out when you need to. More than halfway there, team. Sixty. Seventy. Nice. Deep in the form there, team. Make sure you keep your form. Ninety. Two more. Rock it out. Twenty. You got it. Twenty-one. Nice. All right, team. First round is completely done. We're gonna move to fifteen of everything. All right? Ready, go, sir. Have you ready? Awesome, sir. One, two, Rapid three, kicks, four, four, sir. Five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Good work. Up to our V-ups. 
Whatever version you want to do there, team. One, two. Excellent work, sir. Three, four, five, six, seven. If you're really struggling with those V-ups there, team, just drop your legs and then go back and continue them. Do what you got to do to take care of your body, but push yourself to do these V-ups. Maybe not this exact version, you can try the other versions as well. 15. Team, if you know you should challenge yourself, do just what Mr. C's doing. Almost there. One. Under those chops a little bit. Two. Three. Get that chest all the way down. I love it. Good work, sir. Five. Go as low as Mr. C there, team. Six. Just like Mr. C. 
Sig. Almost there, you can do it. Being strong. If you drop it, just get right back up. We're almost there. You can do it. Finish strong. Keep that back straight, just like Mr. C there, team. Feet are together. 10 seconds. Don't give up. You can do it. If you made it this far, you can finish it out strong. Time. Drop on your knees. You shake out your arms a little bit. Take a couple deep breaths. We're going to finish it out with a minute of cover, cover, jab, cross, front kick. All right, and you can switch legs at any time. So hands are up, Mr. C. Oh, yeah. Show us one of those combinations real quick. <sighs> soup, soup. Awesome. Nice. And challenge yourself to those front kicks at the end of the team. You can add whatever you want, version you want. Ready? One minute and go. <sighs> soup, soup. Awesome. Nice. Hip front kick. I love that. Soup, soup. Awesome. Power their team. Keep up with Mr. C. Soup, soup. Again. Awesome. Finish strong. Soup, soup. Us. Excellent. Keep it up. Keep it up. Us. You can perform that. Make sure it all looks good. Switch sides whenever you soup, want. Soup. Us. Nice power breathing, sir. Keep rocking it. Soup, soup. Us. Soup, soup. Us. Almost there. Keep it up. Keep it up. Soup, soup. Keep the power. Us. Keep the snap of your moves. Soup, soup. Us. Keep that power breathing to breathe. 10 seconds, uh, strong, do a couple jump front kicks, uh, skip front kicks, whatever version you want to do, uh, finish strong, you got it, good work, and time, team, put your hands above your head, that was an awesome workout, take a couple deep breaths into your nose, out of your mouth, one more, and Mr. C, you're out of here, sir, great job, great okay. workout today, sir, alright team, Right where you are, just go into relaxed stance. Continue to breathe as I'm giving you your announcements. So, number one, remember there are no classes on Monday because Memorial Day. So enjoy your Memorial Day weekend. That being said, you want your karate fix? Boom! Watch uh, your video and take your class. Which, by the way, was last week, so never mind. Ignore that. Three, uh, number two, there, team, your homework for this class is going to be your self-defense and your kata. So whatever version of uh, that kata you're doing, excellent. And then send your self-defense to your online instructor. It should be a 30 second video team. And that's it. I hope you had a great morning. Like everyone has a chance. Ready? Attention! Excellent. Everyone spread your feet out. Put your fist out. Cover that fist. Did you guys work hard today? Oh, and team, very exciting. Dads train free in the month of June. So dads who are watching this video, boom, you get a free uniform if you reserve your spot before June with Miss Ashley or your online instructor maybe. Other than that, their team makes you get involved. It's great to get release some stress and learn some really cool karate. And nice and long that horse nose team repeat after me a prize. Say, we are Black Belt School. We are dedicated 